Hi guys, that's me here, and I'm back with a new FIFA 13 manager mode commentary. This is obviously Garanga uh, Town, obviously my creative team, um, and we're just we're just gonna go with it. Um, I'm gonna be signing a few players. Obviously, I've got quite a big bu budget right now, but I take it down just to put the wage budget up a bit. Um, and now these are the players in my shortlist. Also, I haven't got a great team at the moment, so I'm using this money to buy good players. That was my always my plan. I didn't want to just stick them in. I wanted to make it a bit more realistic than that so I've got a, you know I've got all my backup players now but these are the players that I'm looking to bring in um, so this is my team at the moment obviously you can see you know it's a good championship team I've also got Frimpong in there we've got my create we've got my um, what do you call it pro Asimo Garanga in there he's a very very good player um, but you know I th you know it's always nice to have one really good player you know it's none of this is realistic so um, it's just I'm doing it a bit more for fun we're, we're told to avoid relegation and reach the quarterfinals of the cup I think that's doable uh, certainly avoiding relegation is doable we make our first offer for Bakary Kono we're desperately in need of a new centre back and he will, should do that uh, Serge Aurea I'm going to tell you now we don't an actually end up getting him we put in a bid of 2.1 million for him we also make it a bid for another right back uh, we put in 1.3 for Miguel Lopez who's actually a very good uh, right back um, I've used him before uh, we, put, uh, we also make an offer for Jack but Butland, but yeah, I'm just going to be talking about kind of my, my aims for this series. As you see, uh, stuff going on in the background. Obviously, our offer for Bakri Kono was upset, accepted. So um, yeah, I'm going to be aiming really. I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm going to try and do. I'm not sure whether I'm going to try and get these the Champions League winners, uh, Premier League winners. Uh, I certainly want to win a few trophies um, with the team. That is for sure. Um, well, I'm not quite sure. As for the like, commentary style, I asked for what did you want. Uh, I got only got one response, um, which was I, I don't expect a lot. Uh, actually, here I just want to say something quickly. I'm really not sure who to go for. If I do end up making my decision, um, but anyway, yeah. Um, so what was I talking about? I was on about something. Yeah, commentary style. Um, so I'm just gonna do it like this for now. Um, I might do a bit more like a press thing. Um, you know, maybe like a Sky Sports documentary, something like that. I don't know. Um, later on, but um, as you can see, we make uh, we do end up going for Shane Long and make a few loan bids for Mbai and Dos Santos. Obviously, Dos Santos a fantastic player in my Barcelona B uh, uh, series. Um, unfortunately, that has stopped for the time being, but it will be coming back. Also, make a bid for Beckham as well, and we do manage to get well. We get the offer accepted for Butland. We've put the thing, well, the contract in, and the same for Shane Long, which is really good because he's a really good player on FIFA. Um, and Mbai is also Mbay, sorry, comes into the club as well as we have to make another offer for David Beckham. So it's all. It looks like you know we're getting players in at the moment. Um, you know, we've still got quite a lot of our transfer budget left, so I think I'm going to be fine in terms of that. We're getting Butland, uh, the right back Lopez, and Dos Santos, obviously Dos Santos alone. Um, so that's all very nice and good. Also, Shane Long comes in here. So the first part of this is purely transfers. I tried to get it all out of the way. And we do make an offer for. Raheem Sterling worth 1.5 million. Uh, only they say I could get him for 1.1, so I put in the 1.1 mil, and I put in 1.5 mil for Nathan Redmond. Obviously, I had them in my Fulham series, um, and that was very good. Um, I do get an offer accepted for David Beckham, which is good. He he is a good player. He had a lot of experience. The only downside is really his um, obviously his age and his huge wages. I uh, obviously have to make a different offer for Sterling, but Beckham comes in. He's going to be our captain. He's going to add. Ex a huge amount of experience to the team which is fantastic for us um, and we put in the offer for Nathan Redmond as well um, so it's all it's all going fine now at the moment uh, you know it doesn't look uh, too bad um, I think we put a bonus yeah we put a bonus on Sterling as well um, just to make sure that he decides to join because he's at Liverpool obviously joining a much worse team but we do bring in Redmond obviously uh, but now we do sim a game I believe yeah against Bordeaux at home uh, obviously I don't decide to use any of my new players um, just to I'd use my old team to see how they get on and they do actually manage to get the one all draw which is very good Stephen Hunt getting the goal um, and I'm sure he'll he's another bit of experience to add into the squad as well which, so that's a nice thing to have him but Raheem Sterling will take his place on that left wing and now I'm just going to sort out my team and go into the matches so as you can see um, Butler, Lopez, Kone, Garanga, Mbai, Beckham, De Santo, uh, Frimpong, De Santos, Redmond, Long and Sterling so that's my starting 11 also do quickly very quickly just sort out the bench um, if you can um, see that quick enough then well done I didn't realize it was actually that quick uh, then we go into our second friendly against Bologna I believe that's how you say it and we do play these two matches um, Redmond 
first goal plays it through to Shane Long. And Shane Long, amazing pace, fantastic finishing. He's fa fairly strong as well, so he's a really, really good player to have. Uh, Sterling and Raheem, Sterling and Raheem, Sterling and Redmond, obviously, are both very quick players that can finish, so that's why they're in there. Um, then, you know, they keep coming at us, but um, we're, we're just, you know, it looks like we're going to have to hold on for a lot, but we managed to break out, and we're very, very good on the break. Obviously, the three running forward. We've got David Beckham who can do a pass. Frimpong, he'll get up there. We've got, what's his face, the other midfielder, Santos, who can put a shot from long range, but it's a fantastic little finish from Raheem Sterling there. Um, to get that goal and at half time, it is 2 0 to Garangit Town, obviously, in our away kit of the green. Um, and at full time, it was 2 0. Nothing really happened significantly in the second half. Uh, obviously, in when it comes, Butland also got man of the match. Uh, and the same team play our next friendly against Sampdoria. Uh, when it comes to the actual season, I will be playing, uh, I will be showing you the actual highlights, um, not just the goals, but for friendlies, I'll be showing the goals and the really big moments like red cards, hitting the post, stuff like that. So we do concede, but straight away, from the um, from the kickoff, you know, I speed up a bit just to prove that it was straight from the kickoff. Shane Long with his fantastic speed, pace, uh, slight strength. It's not amazing strength, but he has a really good finish as well. Um, and he manages to get a fantastic goal there to put us level, which is really really good. Um, great run and just smacks it in. I love that stadium. I love that. I just love this stadium when it gets the, you know, the stuff. Um, but anyway, um, some Dora keep on coming. And again, straight from the kickoff, um, they're trying to hit back at us. And Tissone here whips in the cross, but um, our new right back Lopez manages to get it out. And now Dos Santos, and we know how good we are on the break. Dos Santos, just what a pass this is! Let me just say, fantastic pace from Redmond as well. And this is one of the best team goals I've ever scored in FIFA. Yes, it's got a little bit of a sweaty goal at the end, but what a fantastic goal! Um, just to win it back, and the fantastic pass, and then a little sweaty goal across and a little robot finish to uh, celebration to finish off the goal as well so yeah it was a really good goal from our point of view but it did not end there uh, we're absolutely all over um, Sampdoria at this point um, this is another really nice goal uh, and again a sweaty one but um, I guess the finish in the end wasn't sweaty because it comes off a post and into the far corner so that was fantastic we are coming up to the end of the episode now so I'd just like to say thanks for watching please uh, suggest any players um, I've got about 10 mil left in the bank uh, next episode we do start the PPL season but I've got the rest of the I haven't played anymore so get your suggestions in uh, but I'd really like to say thank you for watching please support this series as you know it encourages me to do more I know you want more so thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time thanks bye